Behind the walls of West Dean College lies a fascinating world of cultural and artistic heritage that usually only a few people get to see. The college celebrates the life of British poet Edward James, who once owned the premises, and only recently they invited the general public to get a rare insight into some of the chambers in the building, including some unique artwork. This only happens once a year and this is an opportunity to see some of the state rooms and there's some really interesting, inspiring installations by MA students in some of the rooms. So they're all in response to archival research. So we have the Edward James Archive here, which is a really valuable um, um, resource that all our students can use. Um, there's some really interesting letters that Edward's um, sent to people who are sent to himself. And so the installations are in response response to specific parts of that archive. One of the rooms shown was the Star Room. It was once used by Mrs James, but on this occasion the room hosted an audible installation. We wanted to make a like generative sound installation. And so I was like looking for like some mechanisms and I started talking with him like about like how the, the cuckoo clocks work, like how they make the sound. And then I was like searching about like how you call a flock of birds, because it was from that inspiration of like the starlings when you see them in the sky and they start making these like weird formations between chaos and then they start making these really amazing clouds. Um, and then I was like searching a flock of cuckoos is called an asylum. <laughs> so it was like really interesting, like that name already like triggered like some ideas. So. Um, it's kind of similar to like that murmuration of starlings but with sound so it's like from chaos because you never know like they are all go on and off at their own times and so you can always have like this like cacophony but at some point in the chaos you will have like some harmonies or you start hearing like this kind of rhythm. My role was essentially taking Lara's uh, the technology of using Arduinos and motors and then integrating that with a purely mechanic, mechanical system which will set off the bellows and then, um, like I say, it's integrating the, the new technology with the old craft. So there are sensors in front, of, in front of the art pieces and so as someone passes by they will turn on and off and then that creates in itself this um, chaos but at the same time our ears here tunes, even though it's really not there, it's mm. purely random. Another unique art installation could be found in the old dining room, which is usually being used for meetings and fine dinings, and now saw a four meter long cloud hanging above the festively decorated dining table. It's called The Cloud, and we were inspired by René Magritte um, and his relationship with Edward James being his patron. There's a history of surrealism with Edward James and the house here, and so we did pick up on that, and that you look at a lot of the Magritte paintings, there are images of clouds and surrealistic images, so we said, how could we make that manifest, and that was what we yeah. came up with. It's made of folded paper, of 220 gram uh, paper, and just held together with glue, so it holds its shape just by the fold and the geometry as Hall and I are both doing sculpture and we're interested in geometry so we applied that to to this piece. Each unit is done separately and then we just connected them. There were all about 50 sheets of paper A1 that we then connected separately and, um, and then put together to form the big cloud. However for the general public access to these rooms isn't until the next open day at the college unless they've booked them for accommodation or a special event. Nicole Ries, for that's TV.